Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. So the monster's mother, Janice Small Combs, has released a statement through her lawyer, Natalie G. Figures, in defense of her demon son, Diddy. She says, I come to you today as a mother that is devastated and profoundly saddened by the allegations made against my son, Sean Combs. It is heartbreaking to see my son judge not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies. To be a witness what seems to be a public lynching of my son before he has had the opportunity to prove his innocence is a pain too unbearable to put into words. Like every human being, my son deserves to have this day in court to finally share his side and to prove his innocence. Janice went on to explain that she was not here to portray her son as perfect because he is not. He has made mistakes in his past, as we all have. She continued, my son may not have been entirely truthful about certain things, such as denying he has ever gotten violent with an ex-girlfriend when the hotel surveillance showed otherwise. Sometimes the truth in a lie becomes so closely intertwined that it becomes terrifying to admit one part of the story, especially when that truth is outside the norm or is too complicated to be believed. This is why I believe my son's civil legal team opted to settle the ex-girlfriend's lawsuit instead of contesting it until the end, resulting in a ricochet effect as the federal government used this decision against my son by interpreting it as an admission of guilt. Not being entirely straightforward about one issue does not mean my son is guilty of the repulsive allegations and the grave charges leveled against him. Many individuals who were wrongfully convicted and later exonerated had their freedom taken from them, not because they were guilty of the crimes they were accused of, but because they didn't fit the image of what this society considers to be a good person. Watching the world make jokes and laughing at my son's life crumbling before our eyes is something I can never forget. It is truly agonizing to watch the world turn against my son so quickly and easily over lies and misconceptions without ever hearing his side or affording him the opportunity to present his side. These lies thrown at him are motivated by those seeking a financial gain and not justice. These individuals saw how quickly my son's several legal team settled his ex-girlfriend's lawsuit so they believe they can receive a quick payday by falsely accusing my son. Falsely allegations of sexual assault taught true victims of sexual violence from getting the justice they deserve. She continued, to make matters worse, the federal government is now using these lies to prosecute my son. This injustice has been unbearable for our family. The worst part of this ordeal is watching my beloved son be stripped of his dignity, not for what he did, but for what people choose to believe about him. I ask his supporters, fans, colleagues, friends, and the public to not judge him before you've had the chance to hear his side. I beg you to think about those who have been wrongfully prosecuted to remember that not everyone who has made mistakes in life deserves to have their entire existence judged by a single action or a few mistakes. My son is not the monster they have painted him to be, and he deserves the chance to tell his side. I can only pray that I am alive to see him speak his truth and be vindicated. Respectfully submitted on the behalf of Janice Smalls Combs and the Combs family. 
Wow, your son is a monster, Janice. I didn't expect her to come out and say he was guilty. Of course, she's not going to do that. But to come out here and try to play in the public's face? Asking us to do what? Didn't Diddy smack you around, Janice? Didn't he drag your old behind up and down that mansion? Don't play with us. You're just scared because the gravy train is coming to an end, you raggedy... Oh, my gosh. I'm just so like, how dare you? A mistake is a one-time thing. This monster been abusing people all his freaking life. That's why they call him Puff. He explained why they call him Puff, why he got the nickname Puff, since he was a little boy. You failed that monster. You helped created that monster, that demon Janice. Talking about... Oh, he's not the monster that they are portraying. No one portrayed him anyway. His actions portrayed him to be the monster that he is. You raised that monster since he was in school. This guy been terrorizing, beating up women. His college girlfriend. Okay, he was beating her outside the college dorm. Everybody was running. Everyone was scared. So this is not the first time. It's so... And then this freak hoe, this freak, this old freak hoe, be at all of his white parties. All of his parties, Janice be there. There are pictures of Janice at every freaking party. You can't tell me that this old hoe is not on his freak off tapes. You can't tell me that Janice and Diddy have never had a sexual relationship. I don't care what anyone says. Diddy and Janice were getting it on. Okay, this video right here. <laughs> yeah, my mom's single. Yeah, for real. Mom, do know how to have a good time. Yeah. She ain't sitting in the house playing. Yeah. Outside moving and shaking, baby. Yeah, she come with me to strip club. I don't care. <laughs> for real. It's my dog. You know, I want to live life. We out here moving and grooving. So my mom told me, she just said, keep moving, baby. That's right. Keep moving. She don't could, stop. She could touch, she could touch um, the floor with her palms. You know? Flat. Flat. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> says it all not only did they kiss in the video and it was nasty they were also getting ivy drips the indictment alleged victims would typically receive IV fluids to recover from the physical exertion and drug usage after a freak off Okay, so his mom is getting an IV fluid and Diddy is getting IV fluid. So put two and two together. They just finished a freak off session. Is that why they both getting IV fluids? So anyway, in the video, he's talking about, yeah, my mom is single and she knows how to have a good time. What son do you know? We'll talk about their mom like that. Not only just a son, he's a, a very jealous, a very controlling, a very abusive son. The same way he views women is the same way he views his mother. He's jealous of his boyfriends, his girlfriends. So you know he's going to be jealous of his mother. He's going to want to control her SEX life as well. Okay? Because he said, he's talking about his mom is single and knows how to have a good time. Now, someone who's controlling and jealous, they're not going to advertise their mom like that unless they have a very sexual relationship with that mother, unless he's pimping that mother out. And he said she goes to strip clubs with him. Yeah. And the worst part is, he said, she can touch the floor with her palms. And the raggedy old ho said, flat. Meaning she can touch the floor with her palms on the floor, flat. 
And then he's like, she can take it like pium, pium, pium. Oh, that's sexual. They just exposed themselves in that video. They exposed themselves. She can touch the floor with her palms flat on the floor. And how do you know this, Diddy? And why do you know this? It's because she's done it for him. She's had her palms on the floor flat while he's behind her. Pium, 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 pium. Like he said, these people are sickos. They are sick. Janice and Diddy have had freak offs together. Yes, they have. There's no way. There's no way they have not. Because their relationship is so bizarre. This guy was advertising his mother to the public. Talking about she can touch the floor with her palms. And she's like flat. That's advertising. Yeah. You know? He's pimping that lady out. Diddy is so twisted. He's such a deviant. Because he's had SEX with just everybody men, women, you name it, that he would need to, you know, to top it. For him to get off, he would need strange, more strange things for him to have some kind of, you know. And then his mom is 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 part of it because he's, has, he's done everything. So, of course, his mom, do, doing his mother, would top all this other sick ish that he's he's been doing, I wouldn't put it past him. I'm telling you, I really believe Diddy and his mother have had freak offs together. It's not far fetched. If you have discernment, if you really, really, really observe these people, I'm telling you, these people are sick. Wow. So now this old raggedy hole. Yes, I'm calling her that because I'm really, really disgusted by her want to come out here and saying all these BS with this statement. Oh, my son is not a monster that he's paying, uh, they're portraying him to be. And just because he settled with his ex-girlfriend, Cassie, it doesn't mean, or oh, the government, you know, they've, you know, they've locked up people wrongfully before, so he's one of them. Get the... You know what? <laughs> Let me go. Because I'm getting really pissed. I am. So, yeah, the gravy train is stopping. And Janet don't know what to do. I mean, at her old age, she's she's getting nose jobs. You don't see her nose job? She had a nose job. Yeah, her nose is, like, very different from back then, you know. Um, yeah, and look how she dressed. With him. Someone was controlling. Then he's so controlling. Every like he's controlling with his women, his boyfriends, his lovers. Believe me, his mom dressing like that with him for him. This old raggedy ho is showing all her like what mother do you what she's raggedy. She's she's so listen. <laughs> all right, I'm done. Cause I uh they are disgusting. I'm disgusted by their nasty, incestuous relationship. Ugh. You guys, um, leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.